Hey guys, this is me, Mike, coming at you guys with another video. Um, this is going to be on how to breed crested geckos. Uh, it's very simple and easy. Um, if you have the time and money, you'll be very successful in getting eggs and getting babies and selling them. And if you're wanting to make a small business, first you're gonna need a female. This right here is my female sweetheart. She's almost ready to breed. She's 35 grams, and as you can see, she loves to eat her food. Because she is super fat and she has the little lump in her stomach popping out because she just loves to eat her food. Her tail is super nice and fat. Um, but this is her and clearly you can tell she's a female because right where the vent is right there, um, it's all flat. And that tells that it's a female. Or right here, right in between the eggs right above the vent uh vent area there should be rows of pores uh that says that it's a male and uh when no pores uh it's a female and then i also have another female over here this is the one that i just got yesterday this is twix she's 27 grams and she's she's a female and as you can see in the ventilation area sorry my camera is my phone camera is really, really crappy, but I'm going to get a new one soon. But uh, it shows no pores, so she's clearly a female. And I'll grab out one of my males for you. Hold on, bear with me, guys. I'm trying to grab out one of my smaller ones. Come here. This is a male. Um, I can clearly tell by uh, he's a male because he has pores, and I can sort of tell that he's starting to get a itty bit, a little budge, bulge. If you guys can see that. Um, when they're smaller than this, it's possible to sex them when, uh, you've been dealing with crested geckos for, uh, multiple years now. Um, so yeah, he's a male, uh, and that's Mocha, and he's about 9 grams, and, uh, I'll grab out one of my adult males now. This is Pepper, my male, um, orange tiger Dalmatian. Um, and, uh, he is clearly a male because, as you can see, he's got the big bulge and his hemipenal pores. I'll show you those right now. Hopefully my camera will show it. But all right there on those little scales, he's got holes in, in the center of them. And those prove out that, uh, he is a male. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a male and a female for you, and I'll show you how to breed. Um, first, you're going to need to have the crystal geckos of the correct weight, because you can't put a male crystal gecko like this size and put it with a, a female crystal gecko that's her size. They need to be a specific size because they could become egg-bound. They possibly could... MBD. Um, they could become egg bound. A bunch of other things could happen. Um, just like the guy that I got Twix from, he said that she was that she was thirty six grams, but I weighed her as soon as I got her, and she's twenty seven. And I could not put her with him because she would become egg bound, and she would have problems probably for the rest of her life. Um, so that's why I have my two breeder females up in there. I'll show you them real quick. Let me put her away. Come here. Go on. Now I'll show you these two. These two are of the correct weight. Um, Cupcake, she actually just laid eggs for me. Um, she laid eggs for me 
November 3rd, no, November 2nd, and uh, one of the eggs molded, sadly, but I still have one um, inside my little incubator, it's right there, uh, I have my temperature set at uh, 72 to 74 degrees, and I'll talk about that uh, after I'm done talking about the females, um, we have this right here, this is Cookie, she is of correct weight, she loves eating her food as you can see, and she's got some nice little fat rolls. She loves eating her food. And um, she is of correct weight. So I could put her with a male right now, but I choose not to. Um, because I need to get more bins or cages. Um, I am thinking about using that cage to put them in there. Um, but yeah, And this is my other female. This is Cookie. No, this is a cupcake, my bad. And um, she just laid for me November November 2nd. And uh, she's already getting back up to weight because now she's starting to love her food. When before she used to be a pig, then she decided not to eat. Um, she ate here and there. She only ate crickets, but that's it. Those are breedable females. And then Sweetheart, as I said, she's almost ready to breed. That's a male. Um, the male needs to be at least 25 grams but if you want you can go higher um he is 32 um, my other male goliath he is 36 or 37 i believe um cookie she is 36 and cupcake is 35 so i could breed both of them right now but uh, i want them to get up to weight more um so yeah and now incubation show you guys about that it'll take it'll take about a month for her to lay if not a little bit more it took cupcake uh two months to lay these two very nice fertile eggs uh because every single time she used to lay the eggs used to be super uncalcified but now these eggs are nice and smooth and uncalcified i mean calcified and um the the other eggs that she used to lay me were all rough and hard um but uh yeah, you need, uh, there's two, uh, there's two incubation mediums that a lot of people recommend. There is vermiculite, which is this, and then there's perlite. I recommend perlite, uh, for new beginners because you don't have to pre-moisten it. Um, it's already pre-moistened right when you get it out of the thing, um, out of the package. And you just, uh... Get a little container like this, or like a little uh, deli cup, and um, you put about, I'd say, an inch and a half, two inches of this substrate, and just make a little dent like that, and then put the egg in there, and then sort of like cover it a little bit. Well, at least that's what I do. You could, you could have it just wide open and just setting on top, but. That's, uh, that's for incubation. Um, for uh, the temperature sex determination, um, I think if the, if the temperature is higher, you're going to get males. So probably around 78 and 80, you're going to get males. Um, if you want females, uh, you're going to have to put it down to between 74 and 70, uh, maybe even 68. But uh, I wouldn't go no lower than 68. Um, I have mine at 72, so I could probably get around both. Uh, 72, I mean, uh, 76 and 74 is right around the average between you can getting uh, male and female or both of the opposite sex or something like that. And um, I have a little uh, thermometer gauge. Uh, not a gauge. Um... I don't know what it's called, like a little thermometer stick with the temperatures on there. As you can clearly see, uh, it is at 68. Um, I am actually going to turn my heater on so I can bring the temperature up to back up to 72. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, how to breed crested geckos and uh, for incubation. Um, if you guys want me to do any other videos, because I'm running out of ideas, guys, you guys need to let me know uh, what ideas you guys want me to do, uh, what new videos you want me to do, uh, what kind of new animal, maybe, if you want me to get. Um, so, yeah, uh, 
leave, uh, you guys can leave your ideas in the comment section below. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. See you guys. Bye.